Welcome back to the third in my series of videos on medium tanking. We'll continue a bit here with the pattern to look at how you utilize the pattern's imminent gun depression and maneuverability in this map, Westfield. Westfield is, um, is an interesting map. I think a number of other YouTubers have made the comment that going to the east side is uh, not the way to do really well on this map, let me put it that way basically especially from the south you basically cannon further from the north at least you've got, got that ridge to sit on but any competent artillery will smash it to pieces in a matter of minutes so you know i always in the medium go to the south end of the village you get side shots up to the north and you get side shots down to the south if anyone tries to make a run for it in the south and southeast you can shoot into the valley and you can ruin their day Sometimes you meet a little bit of opposition down here, which is just great fun. Especially when you are in the faster, more accurate on the move tank. Like the pattern. So let's see how this kicks off. A bit of me trying to shoot past the houses. It's kind of pointless. It's not ever going to work. But, you know, it's the, it's the only tanks that are spotted, right? So forgive me here. Ah, here we go. Ooh. Let's throw a shot this way. He did not expect that. Uh, I'm spotted, so... Let's see... Ah, well, that was a challenge shot, but... It had to be taken. It had to be taken. Might have worked. And this guy is getting his day ruined. I thought there was a wall there or something, so... Oh. You see, this guy in front of me, the object for whatever, the frying pan, has uh, taken a bad position. Because he's getting shot from over in the uh, sniping hill bridge over there. As well as being shot from the front. Go, put one into the rain. So he's... My mate there is dead. Oh, it's a T-62, wasn't it? Never mind. He did. Yeah, he had a bad day. Proper shot in now. I think he might have been there. Anyway, what is this? See, this is what I'm talking about. These guys running around in the open. I mean, guys. Now, oh, dot the shot. But anyway, uh, you see, there's no point in in sitting around over on on that side there. You, you're just gonna get shot to pieces. If you want to do it, you take five medium tanks and you just rush down the flank and you take out the artillery quickly and cleanly, and then maybe you've been useful. Just maybe, because chances are you take a lot of losses. Someone over there. Let's have a look at him. That's a reverse shot. Ah, tough one when you can't actually see him. Can't lead him with the right amount. Alright, here we go. There's a couple of boys coming over to my side. I probably need to do it right now. There's T1 shooting at me. I'm putting myself in a more risky position than I normally would, but. to now do something a little bit more aggressively. I've done about 1600 damage at this point. It's decent. I've taken one shot myself and done 1600. That's all right. Um, because it, it's quite important to keep your health until the end game, where it might be two on one or three on one or whatever. If you don't have health, you cannot possibly survive that. Oh, it's pushing up there. Let's see. Yeah, move shoot and all of that good stuff. Which to me it's a 5120. He would like for me to stay out of cover but so he can unload his clip on me but he doesn't follow it up. Maybe I scared him off last time. Still four on four, the engagement is undecided. I definitely have a lot of tanks down here. You look at my map, it's red all around me. Uh, maybe I can get a shot off on that no unfortunately not but I did hear his gun go off. That might be an opportunity. Goes a bit back. Let's see. Nah. Nope, he's back. I miss him. One thing that I find is very helpful, especially in medium tanks, but it goes for tank destroyers and heavy tanks as well, 
I don't play much artillery, so I won't comment on that. I really suck at it. But um, for medium tanks in particular, patience. The ability to not do something for a little bit of time. That keeps me from getting killed. And you know, dead people can't shoot stuff. Yeah. You know, my, my mantra has always been, don't do stupid shit. And don't be the first stupid motherfucker to die. Excuse my French. Well, I'm also thinking now that... Uh, I see a lot of people just dying for no particular reason. Right? So maybe a motto that goes something like "dead people can't shoot" is is more politically correct, and maybe maybe, maybe I should change to that. Anyway, I took a a nice shot through the walls. I like this shooting through walls. Uh, it works really well with overhead aiming, or third person aiming, if you will. No, oh, so they're all down there, but there's a guy over there, and you really need to get rid of in order to be effective. And of course, we've got the MX somewhere. Alright, there we go. So we need that guy rooted out. Oh. Ah! That was a bad shot. Bad shot. Anyway. He's now pulled off the ridge. Might be time to go and have a little bit of a word with that AMX. He has been annoying me the entire game. Well, maybe more I've been annoying him. But, yeah. Okay, so he was laying into someone. Dead. So, even though I've taken a fairly aggressive position here, throughout the game I haven't moved much. Just backwards, forwards, make sure I get the shots, and I have racked up how much damage? 2,800 and some? Not bad, not bad at all. And now it's time to use the remaining hit points and fuel and go hunting. I'm thinking we're going to get some shots across, we're going to find some artillery. Never going to hit that guy. Oops, STA1. Nice. I have an STA1. It's actually a. It's a. It's like a pattern without the steroids. Its damage output is. Well, it's interesting. It, it's very low damage, but rapid reload. It's got good gun, gun depression, uh, decent maneuverability, paper thin armor. So very much like the pattern, but it does lack some of the extraordinary qualities of this tank, which is the shoot on the move accuracy, for starters. Um, and it doesn't have very good alpha damage. I, I like alpha damage. I, I like the DPM of the pattern. But the STA-1 is, is definitely lacking some of that move, shoot or move average. Now it's only a tier 8, but a uh, very decent tank. I must say I've been very, very disappointed with the STA-1's uh, successor, the Type 61. It's just a bad tank. Oh, no, maybe I'm sort of halfway stuck still. Oh, this could be dangerous. Uh, he moves. Okay, his aim is off. He needs to be incredibly lucky to hit me. So we'll just there we go. And I believe that was it for this round. I hope you've enjoyed it. I will move on to some other tanks other than the pattern now and show you some gameplay with other types of tanks. Though the pattern is very enjoyable. So I hope you see some different ways of doing things on the maps and with the tanks and you know let me know in the comments below what you think. And until next time, stay frosty.